Mrs. Wilson. That's right. That is sister. In law. As the nurse briefed you. She explained pills, dosages. Splendid. Raring to go then. I wouldn't say raring. You'll be fine, Mrs. Wilson. This is the next step. I don't know if I can do this. Right now, what she needs is to be surrounded by people that care for her. You'll be fine. I'm saying that. You have the outpatient number. If there's an emergency, all you need to do is call. Then, tea or coffee? Oh, I know, I know. Silly question, you hate tea. I know that. Sorry. It's been a crazy day and shit. Not crazy. Just not normal. Abnormal. It's been a abnormal day. <laughs> so. Did you see the tennis? No. You wouldn't have, would you? The players. It's the only reason I watch. Slow motion, sweat glistening body. When is Rue home? Rupert? Oh, not till late. You know, Rupert got the first train as soon as we found out. I'm going to go lie down. She'll tell them when she's ready. Three weeks, Rupert. You know Mum's had a lot going on recently. <sighs> That's no excuse. Maddie was probably just trying to save her from worrying. <sighs> it was awful in there. I don't know how she did it. Did what? Three weeks in there without telling anyone. What, you mean you didn't? Why? <sighs> she hates me. She doesn't hate you. She barely knows you. Oh, thanks. I didn't mean that. What did you mean? April. <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't be. It's been a long day for everyone. Just... 
don't know what to do. It's okay. And Ian from accounting. The one with the moustache? Mm hmm. Creepy Ian. Well, he tells me my PACCR hasn't factored in sequential growth from Latin America. PACCR? Mm. Projected annual client churn rate. An estimate of how many clients Rupert stands to lose in the next year to competing bids. Well, that's riveting stuff, Rupert, but mm. I'm going to go. You've hardly touched yours. Well, I'm not hungry. Got to eat something. I'm not hungry. Yeah, come on, sit down and eat something. Stop trying to be dad. It doesn't suit you. Either eat something or I'll drive you back. Don't. The seaside? What on earth does she want to go to the seaside for? She feels trapped here and... This is her home. No, it's our home. It's the same thing. No, it's not. It, it, it's just not. Does she get how bloody cold it's going to be? We'll wrap up warm. She's bloody mad. <laughs> I didn't mean that. You're a good man. Tell me it'll be all right. We'll be fine. Can I come in? Sorry for being a dick. If it helps, I am trying. It's cool. I get it. I wish I did. Ah, there you are. I thought I'd pop my head round and say hi. Hi. Hey. Twos? Nate would be cool with that. Ah, <sighs> one like that.
God, that's good. Sorry. Mm. Oh, don't be. Got me out of that bloody conference. I'm glad my breakdown could be of service to you. So, how have you been? <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it'd be bloody cold. Who goes to the seaside in March? It's not that bad. It's freezing. We can't go home, can we? You two can fill your boots. I'm staying put. Right in the back. I should have told you. What are you... I should have said where I was. I. There was this boy at Antelope. He, he was there for the same reason I was, you know? I was there when his family came in. Saw his face when he tried to tell them why he had tried to. I just. I told them not to call. I'm so glad you decided to call us. They said they'd only release me into the care of a family member. I guess they just wanted to make sure that you'd be safe. Then why don't I feel safe? Everything will be fine. Yeah, they said that too. Your bed. 